What is the Food, Drug and Cosmetics Act? The Food, Drug and Cosmetic Act, FDCA, is a set of laws passed in 1938 that give authority to the FDA to oversee the safety of drugs, food and cosmetics, included new consumer protection against unlawful cosmetics and medical devices, and enhanced the government's ability to enforce the law. This law, as amended, is still in force today. Durham-Humphrey Act of 1951 The Durham-Humphrey Amendment, enacted in 1951, resolved the issues left open by the 1938 Act. It established two drugs, Rx Legend, Prescription, and OTC, over-the-counter. Before the passage of this amendment, drug manufacturers were generally free to determine which category their drug belonged. Kefauver-Harris Amendment of 1962 The US Kefauver-Harris Amendment, or Drug Efficacy Amendment, is a 1962 amendment to the Federal Food, Drug and Cosmetic Act. It introduced a requirement for drug manufacturers to prove the effectiveness and safety of their drugs before approval. The Comprehensive Drug Abuse Prevention and Control Act of 1970, enacted October 27, 1970, is a United States federal law that, with subsequent modifications, requires the pharmaceutical industry to maintain physical security and strict record-keeping for certain types of drugs. Poison Prevention Packaging Act of 1970 the Poison Prevention Packaging Act of 1970 was signed into law by US President Richard Nixon on December 30, 1970. It was enacted by the 91st United States Congress. This law required the use of child-resistant packaging for prescription drugs, over-the-counter OTC drugs, household chemicals and other hazardous materials that could be considered dangerous for children. Occupational Safety and Health Act, OSHA, of 1970. The Occupational Safety and Health Act of 1970 is a US labor law governing the federal law of occupational health and safety in the private sector and federal government in the United States. It was enacted by Congress in 1970 and was signed by President Richard Nixon on December 29, 1970. Its main goal is to ensure that employers provide employees with an environment free from recognised hazards, such as exposure to toxic chemicals, excessive noise levels, mechanical dangers, heat or cold stress, or unsanitary conditions. The Act created the Occupational Safety and Health Administration OSHA, and the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health NIOSH. Prescription Drug Marketing Act of 1987 The Prescription Drug Marketing Act of 1987, PDMA, was signed into law by the President on April 22, 1988. The PDMA was enacted, one, to ensure that drug products purchased by consumers are safe and effective, and two, to avoid the unacceptable risk to American consumers from counterfeit, adulterated, misbranded, subpotent, or expired drugs. Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act of 1987 OBRA 87 On December 22, 1987, President Ronald Reagan signed the Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act of 1987 OBRA 87, also known as the Federal Nursing Home Reform Act. This was enacted to protect patients' rights in long-term care facilities, such as nursing homes, skilled nursing facilities, and assisted living homes. Anabolic Steroids Control Act of 1990 Anabolic Steroids Control Act of 1990 amends the Controlled Substances Act to 1. Establish penalties for physical trainers or advisors who endeavour to persuade or induce individuals to possess or use anabolic steroids. 2. Add anabolic steroids as a Schedule Three substance under such Act. 3. Define anabolic steroid as any drug or hormonal substance that promotes muscle growth, 
in a manner pharmacologically similar to testosterone, including specified substances. FDA Safe Medical Devices Act of 1990 The Safe Medical Devices Act SMDA of 1990 provided the FDA with two additional post-marketing activities. Post-market surveillance to monitor products after their clearance to market and device tracking to maintain traceability of certain devices to the user level. Drug Listing Act of 1972 Established the NDC National Drug Code Number 5-4-2 First 5 – The Manufacturer Second 4 – The Drug Product Final 2 – Package Size and Packaging